welcome to anu's classroom i know it's been a while since i posted any videos i really wanted to but uh, due to multiple reasons i was not able to prepare anything uh, that's why there was a long gap i'm extremely sorry for that and i hope that i will be able to um, you know upload at least some videos um, consistently in the coming days so that it can help you out in your upcoming examinations so this video is managerial economics i thought since the exams are so near um i would uh, you know uh, rather take up uh, some exam oriented uh, sessions and economics is one such subject where people usually find it a bit difficult especially those who come from the non commerce background so i thought maybe uh, while restarting i thought maybe let's uh, start with economics so my plan before uh, you guys head for your exam is we will go unit wise but we will take up questions that have come up in the past years and according to those questions we will uh, discuss on the units okay so it will be uh, what you can say a question paper discussion as well as concept uh, explanation okay both videos in one otherwise for the first semester and all you guys know i used to upload the regular uh, study courses in one video and then uh, just before the examination the quick revision tips i'm not sure whether this semester i might be able to do that so i thought let us make one video which has everything up together okay so this video we will discuss about unit 1 of managerial economics so let's get started right so first and foremost when you talk about managerial economics i would suggest be it any question especially like uh, um the intro kind of questions uh, the questions which come from block 1 or any question you might think uh, would suit okay i would always suggest you can start with uh, something kind of a definition like pick up the key terms of the question and uh, start by uh, writing out the definitions of those key terms it uh, makes your answer a bit more bigger and also helps the invigilator understand that you know the core concepts okay so what exactly is managerial economics Uh, there are multiple definitions like many most of the things in our managerial uh, mba course this term managerial economics also has multiple definitions and one such uh, definition from mcnair and merriam which i felt was the most easiest to memorize okay that is the only one i'm quoting here according to mcnair and merriam managerial economics is the use of the economic modes of thought to analyze business situation so we are trying to uh, analyze business situations like uh, why did this product sell or why did, didn't this product um, do much uh, perform did not perform well what is the reason behind it why are people not responding it to the same way as maybe your competitors products or things like that you know why what happened those kind of things business analysis thing situations you are analyzing through economic modes maybe demand and uh, demand curves or supply curves things like that the economic modes of thought so that thing that that type of uh, study okay application of your economic concepts to your business in order to understand what is happening with your business your business environment both micro and macro is where managerial economics comes into picture so the first from the first unit when i went back and checked the uh, past previous year question papers one of the most important questions that caught my eye which almost encompasses your entire unit is briefly discuss the nature and scope of managerial economics so as uh, so for, for questions like this you can definitely start by saying what you understand by managerial economics right so what is management management is the guidance the leadership and control of the efforts of a group of people towards some common objectives right business or an any organization is a collection of people who come together to Uh, try and work and achieve a common goal and management is guiding or leading those group of people so that they do not waver from their goal and we actually get to the goal right so coons and donalds definition of management you can uh, also quote over here for such a questions answer okay so that is management right managerial economics has two parts management and economics so that was the managerial part of things now we can talk about what economics is economics is uh, engaged it's a study or it's a branch of science or you can say maths or whatever it is engaged in analyzing and providing answers to the manifestations of the most fundamental problem that there is right scarcity we want many things but we don't have the resource to achieve all those things right that is the fundamental problem of scarcity and that is where economics has its origin from right how best can we utilize our resources so that we can get the most out of it uh, most out of it that is the fundamental problem or the fundamental question all our economic models and everything tries to answer so what 
human wants are virtually unlimited and insatiable and economic resources on the other hand is limited. And so this close relationship between management and economics is what has led to the creation of managerial economics as a branch, right? So that was the first, uh, what you can say, if you divide the answer for such a question into three parts, I would say first part as an introduction, three or four parts you can divide. The first part will definitely be the introduction. You can talk about these things, what manager management is, what economics is and what you understand by managerial economics and you can quote the definition. The last part will definitely be a concluding paragraph where you can summarize everything up, take up the important points of your question, sorry, of your answer and summarize them into like maybe three or four lines. That would be your first and the last part. Now comes the major chunk of this answer that is the nature and scope of managerial economics. So nature of managerial economics you can think of it as uh, both art and science right. Managerial economics nature is what we are talking about. What is it? What exactly is managerial economics? How, uh, um, yeah so what what distinguishes it from other branches of study so managerial economics is both an art and a science why a science because as a science it establishes many scientific relationships between the causes and effects right how how does that establish this cause and effect relationship definitely by collecting and classifying and analyzing the data on the basis of certain principles or certain rules right filter criteria but uh, then why would we talk about it as an art an art because it offers a mode of dicing a particular thing to provide a clue on how uh, it has happened right so even though uh, that is why that is that, that is the human hunch kind of thing right intuition kind of thing that comes in right even though we have a lot of things a lot of data there are a lot of reports that is there on our hand that is there lying in on our desk not all managers who can read these financial statements perform equally in a in a given situation, right? Why? That is the art part of it, correct? So it suggests how a particular problem should be solved, but uh, and it also tells you about the various ways you can solve the problem. But then choosing the best out of all those things and getting it to work is something uh, what you can say that is the luck part of it, right? That is the art part of a managerial economics so that is why it is called an art as well as a science it is a pragmatic uh, field right it is very dynamic it deals with human beings and human beings are um, be, be it your employees be it your consumers be it your uh, suppliers whoever it is you're dealing with human beings and the human beings are unpredictable and therefore managerial economics as a branch or as a tool of uh, business is also very pragmatic and dynamic because you need to keep updating you need to keep changing it according to your situations so we have because we have to cope with that uh, dynamism and that vitality of uh, the people that we are dealing with each person is different each supplier is different so you need to know how to deal with each of them right so that is why you can tell that managerial economics is a very pragmatic or dynamic in nature it is definitely multidisciplinary because it deals, it needs, account. it includes, I would say, accounting, finance, statistics, mathematics, production, operation, human resource, marketing, macroeconomics, microeconomics, all those things are there. So it is a very multidisciplinary subject, right? What is a multidisciplinary subject? Managerial economics. So then it is purely management oriented. Obviously, we are talking about managerial economics. So you can also quote the nature of managerial economics as being management oriented. Why? Because it serves as an instrument in the manager's hands to deal with business related problems and uncertainties effectively. It is a prescriptive or a normative discipline. Why? Because uh, what managerial economics does is that it gives you options or it gives you, shows you different paths, right? Uh, shows you where you're headed and it helps you identify how much of deviation you have from what, where you want to be and where you are at right so it it gives you certain ideas about uh, what are the various corrective steps that you could take at uh, uh, for you know reducing that deviation and getting back on track right so that is why it is called a prescriptive or normative discipline definitely it has components of um, micro as well as macro economics right because managers they typically deal with problems that are relate relevant to a single entity rather than economy as a whole you as a business manager 
are concerned with how you can improve your company's profit margins or assets or you know standing how to increase your hold in the market that is what you are concerned with you are not concerned about the entire global economy right so in that way it has components of microeconomics but also it has components of macroeconomics because your business organization as is works in the macro environment so your government policies uh, your climate changes uh, the people's perception changes all those things are going to affect you right so you need to know about the macroeconomics part as well okay so that is the nature of managerial economics next part of the question comes in uh, asking you for the scope of managerial economics that is what in what all way is the managerial economics spread okay scope is you can think of it as a spread okay what all things come under managerial economics what is its scope so the scope of managerial economics actually you can think of it as and um, it it has a wide range of topics right uh, like how we said in the um, what you can say in the nature okay it includes micro as well as uh, macro economic concepts right we uh, look at the demand analysis the production concept cost analysis or even the national income determination business cycles monetary finance fiscal policies all those things we do look at right but majorly the scope of uh, what you can say managerial economics you can divide it into three major uh, activities demand analysis and forecasting capital and profit management cost and production analysis so what you mean by demand analysis and forecasting a firm uh, always relies on converting its inputs into outputs so that it can generate revenue from those outputs correct so for a firm to be a firm uh, we must be producing something goods or services or something we must be producing and we must be selling those products right those products might be raw materials to other industries doesn't matter but we must be producing something which we can sell and get revenue from and definitely to produce something you need inputs you need people you need machinery you need the raw materials those are the inputs and as we all know inputs are scarce resources therefore we need to judicially use them in order to maximize the output and in turn get the revenue so a very clear and accurate estimation of our demand ensures that we do not overproduce or underproduce and therefore we can use our inputs at the most efficient manner so how can we do that in order to know exactly how our demand is what the anticipated demand is we need to know about how we can analyze the demand that is there in the market for our products or services as well as be able to forecast them right we need to be, uh, business people should always have a vision we say there should be a vision a visionary correct so the ability to forecast this demand is what allows the management to capitalize on the opportunities available and strengthen the market position of the firm coming to capital and production analysis um capital management definitely every asset a business owns is known as the capital capital management is very important because planning and controlling of capital expenditure should be what you can say should be at its best so as to ensure a sustainable use of capital right and so we can use the concepts of equi marginal principle and all for doing that coming to profit definitely uh, any business be it um, any be it anything from your local tea shop to your what you can say elon musk's uh, you know, what you can say ventures whatever it is right if it is a business if it is a for profit business whatever your businesses might vary in size shape scale you know market spread on all those things but one thing that runs common is you are here to make some profit out of it so that you can make your, your own living and expand right so profit management is very important every business firm or an organization is designed with an intention of making profit and it is a profit which reflects the success of a company to maximize the profits of a firm it needs to manage things like the pricing the cost resource allocation um long run decisions like whether to hire whether to fire whether to change supplier whether to expand whether to change product lines all those things right all those things have to be there all these decisions have to be taken and all of these decisions involve the application of economic principles okay so that is what capital and profit management aspect of managerial economics comes into picture then we have cost and production analysis so a company makes profit in two ways a company or anything you think about yourself okay if you were a company 
how can you make profit you can make in two ways either you can what you can say you can earn more right or you can reduce your expense that is cost right so similarly when you apply that to your company either you can increase the demand that is increase your sales or you can cut back on your cost so these are the two ways in which a company can make profit now by taking the help of managerial economics what the management of a company does is it tries to identify those factors which cause a variation in cost as well as variations in demand okay and this data the company then uses to check on the cost estimates in their decisions like uh, what should be the how should we fix the price of a product or a service things like that okay and production and so that is cost analysis production analysis is more of like um, what you can say examine the factors of production that is your inputs and uh, obtain the best combination that is how best can you use these inputs uh, maybe we can change some input and bring in something else and maybe that could help in the uh, uh, in making the overall production process better something like that maybe you can what you can say uh, maybe you are running a toy factory and currently your toys are being handmade may and then maybe you can think of uh, buying a sewing sewing machine or maybe an assembly line and maybe that can help you in producing more things things like that i hope you get the idea so that is the production analysis part of it so uh, so that is one uh, that is the other one then uh, pricing decisions the policies practices all those things are very important and all these uh, what you can say all these decisions that is being taken by management of a firm always includes uh, the economic aspect of uh, of it always right whether i do this if i do this if i bring about this change will it increase my cost will it increase my profit how will it affect my demand how will it affect my competitors or my market share uh, or is it the right time to introduce such a thing is the market ready for such a thing all those things come into picture right so that is the scope of managerial economics so that was uh, one of uh, what you can say one of the important uh, chunks of unit 1 i think uh, this is uh, this is the only question that i was able to find from unit 1 and uh, i think this also encompasses almost all the key aspects that has been discussed in unit 1 so if you have made it to this uh, till here i hope you uh, found this video useful thank you so much for sticking uh, till the end i'll um, and uh, since uh, i did like i did not uh, get any time other than to just prepare this slide uh, in in the notes front in case i am able to prepare the notes and upload it i will definitely leave a link to that down below i'll pin it in the comment section or uh, put it up in the description uh, please bear with me i'm really sorry and i hope to catch you all soon with the the next unit uh, as early as possible thank you so much and thank you all for your uh, Uh, mails and messages uh, it uh, it really encouraged me that is the reason why i squeezed some time somehow in making this video and i really hope uh, to you know help you out through this exam and once again uh, thank you so much and all the best for your exam uh, until i catch you in the next video bye bye